Looks good. Hey, welcome to Catching Dinner. I'm Stefan. Today I'm joined by my friend JJ and we're going beaver hunting. We've got some beautiful ponds here we're in Colorado. It's April. The ice just came off so it's a great time. They're really active and there's an overabundance here. We came in the fall. JJ caught up with a beautiful 50 pound beaver. I'll show you a picture. It was a brute and it was a lot of fun so hopefully we can do it again. They're great eating, we made a nice stew, it turned out real nice. So today, hopefully we can catch up with a couple and uh, make a nice beaver stew, we'll show you guys. And hopefully the pelts are nice, JJ can use them to make himself a beaver blanket or you know, he'll have it done. But he's getting the pelts, you know, tan and uh, it's beautiful. I actually have one made, I used to trap a lot and uh, I'll show you guys too how beautiful they turn out. So for weapons today, using a MP15 AR-223. That should get a job done. I haven't shot anything with it yet, so I'm pretty excited to try it. We just uh, sighted it in a couple weeks ago, and uh, it's shooting pretty straight. So I'm excited. I got a red dot sight, sparked by a vortex. So I think I'm ready to go. Hopefully we'll get some action. JJ's got a 306 and a similar deal. This is JJ, by the way. <laughs> He's quite a sniper. Now yeah, look at this gun. This is a, I said 306, it's a 308. I misspoke earlier. And it's a LaRue, and uh, it'll get it done. A little silencer, make it a little quieter. Put a scope on there. So, beaver in trouble, that's the bottom line. <laughs> Even though we got a little wind, it's gonna help us camouflage our movement a little bit. So, break up our outline. We're in the grass overlooking this pond, and there's all kinds beaver lodges on this one there's three that I know of so it should be pretty active tonight and they go all the way down ponds after ponds all the way to the end so this is a very active beaver area they're really taking over so that's why we're here try to do our part hopefully make some nice beaver stew because it is phenomenal hope you get to see if we catch up with some so stay tuned
a loud gun. Yep, you got him. Woo. I just aimed eye right above the head, right there. Oh yeah, felt good. That's a nice one. Good shot. Right in the head. I mean, there's yeah. no head left. Oh, he kept, he just came right in front. He was paddling pretty fast. I saw him going right towards you. <laughs> so I just waited. He's a good size. Yeah. It's got to be 25, 30 pounder. Eyes. Oh, in the 30s for sure, if not more. You, you can tell by the tail. That's a big tail. Let's see if you. Whoa. Oh, that's a good. Oh, geez, that's 40 pounder. Yeah, that's 40. Yeah, that's. <laughs> We got our beaver. Look at the size of those teeth. That happened fast. We literally just got here. Oh. And uh, he was there already. We circled around, got one shot, had to finish him off, but I think I missed him the first time. And then, yeah, no brain left. No damage to the pelt. Awesome, he didn't suffer. I literally blew the brains out. Two, two, three, got it done. It's just, I was so close, I had to aim a little higher. I was, uh, zeroed in at uh, 25 and uh, when I was close I forgot to shoot a little bit uh, above so anyways second shot got her done so beautiful beaver it's gonna be a nice pelt for JJ's uh, nice whatever you're gonna do with those most probably a blanket, blanket right yeah. some kind of blanket yeah. so uh, pretty awesome the other night it didn't work out so we just came back just after work Friday night figure let's let's try again the season's about to end and uh, got it done. So, goes to show, you know, a little adventure in our backyard. 
great meat, we have some nice fur, and uh, we're helping the ecosystem. There's just so many here, and we got a nice mature one, so that's what it's all about. So I'm gonna show you how to pelt it, very easy. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make an amazing stew too. So we'll see you in the kitchen. but he literally went right through the center of the skull and gave him a lobotomy there. Two, two, three lobotomy. So uh, he's a big one. You can see better. Look at the size of this tail. That's a mature beaver. That's a male. Smell the caster. Let's go home. I came ready. He had the fishing pole and the treble hook. You know, with some white treble hook at the waders. I was ready, but shot him right next to the dam, drifted right in. That's all she wrote. That was a quick hunt, I tell you. Quickest hunt of my life, really. We literally just got here, and he was there. And uh, bingo. And I had him a few nights uh, before, a few nights in a row. I didn't bring the gun. And sure enough, he was in the same spot, and uh, you'll see that footage. So let's go home. Official weigh in. A little windy, so just a little. Two or four. Okay, step off. Yeah, something. Forty-six pounds. Woo. This puppy is gonna go to the taxidermist. It's gonna get tan. And it's gonna make a heck of a blanket. You should see how beautiful this is. It's just so soft and uh, just yeah, you know, amazing fur, really. And beaver are famous for that. Look at that. So uh, I just give it a quick bath, just a quick rinse, dried it out, so we're ready to get started. So what you need is some good knives. Now this is my favorite for skinning beavers. This is a Dexter, and uh, it's round and makes it much easier for skinning. It's a 1674 and a half, made in USA, and uh, it works great. And you'll see. And then just some other regular knives just to do some cuts and you'll see just it's best if it's a little shorter that's the shortest one i could find today but it'll work and definitely a sharpener because these things will get your knives dull in the heartbeat so let's get started Beautiful blanket beaver right here. That's a big one. We're gonna show you the nice blanket we had made, and uh, it's something special. But first, we're gonna take the meat off, and then I'll show you the beautiful blanket. So let me show you the gutless method. Easiest way of doing it. No reason to mess with the guts here. So we're gonna follow the spine, just like we would for any other quadruped.
That's our beaver blanket. It took 12 beavers and two otters, two or three otters, that I trapped there in upstate New York. I used to do some nuisance trapping a little bit. And uh, look how beautiful. And it's really, really soft. So it's well worth, you know, keeping the hides, having them tan, that's all I did. And then when they had enough, I just made the, where I had the tent out, but yeah, look at this. How beautiful. And the otter trim, otter is the toughest, supposedly the most resistant fur you can have. So we did a trim with it. Nice little otter trim all the way on the outside. And then uh, here we go. It's just beautiful. Now the sun's coming out. You can really see it. Flying beaver. And on the underneath, we, uh, we had a little batting done. So nice and soft. So yeah, we just kept collecting the pelt. When we had enough, we send them to the taxidermist, found someone to make a nice blanket for us. And uh, look at this. So that'll keep you warm on a cold day, I promise you, or a cold night. Hey, welcome to the kitchen. We're about to get stewing, but first we've got to process the meat. We've got 10 pounds out of that big beaver. That's quite a bit. We let the meat age in the fridge for, you know, four or five days. Just let it tenderize a little bit. And today's the perfect day to make this recipe because it's cold and snowy out there and we're definitely craving something hearty so this too is going to fit the bill so let's get cooking first off we're going to start with the back straps so we're just going to cube those up nice and easy get rid of some of the fat and some of the sinew but uh, look at this beautiful meat really look at that this is perfect for what we're going to be doing here I'm just going to strip some of this off doesn't belong obviously in our stew so all this stuff is going to come off and let's get started. A lot of meat in the hind quarter, along with the back strap. That's where you're gonna get a lot of your meat. And uh, very tender, obviously. So you just follow the bone. You just go like so. Just show you. Follow the bone. Break it down by compartment. leave some a little bit is okay it's gonna break down with the stew but we're just trying to remove the big stuff like this that's fine obviously we're just gonna cut it in half pile's getting higher pile is getting higher hey look at this beautiful beaver meat all cubed up and there's still more that's just plenty for your stew so we're gonna save the rest for a different day but what I'm gonna do next is basically use some milk 2% will do to soak up the beaver just to help draw out some of the blood when I used to trap them basically what happens the blood would stay in the beaver usually when you kill an animal you shoot them in the lungs the blood pulls out of the muscles so if you leave too much blood sometimes it's got a little livery flavor but if you draw it out with this works pretty good I shot this beaver in the head 
There was quite a bit of blood that already came out, but I'm just going to do it just because normally that's what I would do. Just, you know, it doesn't look too bloody, but sometimes it definitely can look worse. So what I'm going to do, especially with trapping, like I said, so I'm just going to put some meat half and half into some Ziploc bags. You can put it in anything you want. And we're just going to let it soak. And you'll see, you know, the meat will turn the milk, you know, a little red. If it gets really, really red, you could always change the milk and then do it a couple of times. So it's just easy in a bag like this because I can move it around better in the bowl. You can stir it up a little bit, make sure the milk is touching most of the meat. So that's what we're doing. Pour a little milk. Go like this and we'll let it sit you know in our case we'll see in a half hour if it drew a lot of blood out might have to do it again but if not we're gonna be ready to go so you don't have to do it super long if it's really bloody yeah you might have to do a little bit longer but we're gonna let it sit like this see it's already starting to turn a little bit it takes a little bit for the Somehow the milk draws out some of that blood out. You can see the milk is starting to change color a little bit. And a bit it'll be a lot redder, but it just helps, you know, helps the flavor. So we'll see in a bit. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. So it's been a half hour. Here's what we got. As you can see, some of the blood has been drawn out. And uh, all we have to do now is just rinse it out. So we're gonna dump it in our colander here. And then let's rinse it. it out I'm just gonna dump it here because we're trying to get some of that moisture out for the next step here so just take some of the excess fluid out be ready to roll up the fry pan, about to put some oil in. We're going to just not cook these through, we're just going to lightly brown them and everything's going to go into the slow cooker and we are going to come home later tonight to the house smelling pretty darn good. So we browned it a little bit. We're not trying to cook it through at all. We're just giving it a little bit of a browned color. It's ready to go right now. About to throw everything together into the pot. Now how good does that look? We have our carrots, our potatoes, our onion, and our celery. We have the beaver. And man, I gotta tell you, hands down, beaver is my favorite meat to go into a stew. It has the perfect flavor. We absolutely love it. This is now gonna cook on slow, on low, uh, slow cook on low for eight hours. And when we get home after work tonight, it's gonna be ready. We're gonna take it off and we're gonna have it for lunch tomorrow. So. Wait till you see what this looks like eight hours from now. Looks good. Can't wait to try it. Stew's ready. We're about to serve it up. It looks and smells delicious, so we just can't wait. It's a nice, hearty beaver stew. Stefan's gonna cut it up. Cut it half this way. Some chunks. Yeah, fresh out of the oven. Yeah, it's still a little warm. 
pretty awesome. Hey, we got another winner here. This beaver stew is amazing. The beaver meat is just so tender, flavorful, and just so lean. Not like some of the beef stew you might get that's got some grizzle and fat. This is lean, this is healthy. Doesn't get more organic than this. So hey, hope you can get it outdoors, catch up with some beaver like we did. I promise you, cooking it this way, you're gonna love it. So hey, hope to catch you next time on our next adventure of catching dinner. So then, we're out. Hmm. Beaverlicious.